Bone Lab is not a game. So technically Bone Lab is a game, but I think it's more of a canvas. And before you leave, because I sound like that high friend that likes psychology, I want to explain. This is going to have my opinion and a semi-review of Bone Lab, so spoiler warning. I went into Bone Lab expecting a fully fledged game with the best VR technology we've seen yet, but when I put on that headset, I was met with the fundamentals for a system that lets us, the community, to make something fantastic in that the game aspect of Bone Labs is just a smaller part of the machine that is Bone Lab. But I say there's still a game here. Even though small, with its campaign only taking me about 4 hours to complete, but that's without going out of my way to find the collectibles plus all the other game modes. But from the campaign, I feel the point of Bone Lab is, and I may be wrong here, but it's to show us what the game can do rather than give us an all expansive story. Bone Lab's campaign almost feels like an elaborate tech demo, showing us new features from the updated Marrow engine, like its updated body tracking and body swapping mechanic, which I think are outstanding throughout my playthroughs of the game, but I'm a bigger guy height and width wise, so updating some of the more advanced body settings, it really did feel like no matter what character I was, it mapped perfectly. Then speaking of the different characters, I also felt that body swapping and the changing attributes worked very well for me. It made me feel more immersed with Bone Lab than any other game I've played so far, but one thing you have to know is that Bone Lab's frame is just Boneworks, and it shows. This is a bad and good thing, but let's start off with the good. If you love Boneworks with all its crazy physics and all, then best chances are that you'll love Bone Lab. But this brings a problem with Bone Lab. It expects you to know things that you possibly couldn't know unless you played Boneworks. And Bone Lab does have tips in a semi kind of tutorial, but I still don't think it's enough. A good example of this is at the start of the game, there's a statue showing you that you have inventory slots, but it does not tell the player that these inventory slots are actually just spots in your body where you can access it without pulling up the menu. So I've seen and heard complaints of people going through the whole campaign like this, having to bring a menu out mid-battle, breaking all immersion. This and some other reasons is why I've been seeing some new players having trouble getting in and actually having fun in this game, and others giving up entirely after just some time playing. And you can't blame them because a lot of them are quest players, and quest literally doesn't have a direct bonework export. But then there's others. I've seen complaints about gameplay issues, and to be honest, at least when I played, I rarely came into any hiccups, except one at the end of the game where I lost the ability to force grab items just for like a second or two in another earlier in the game when I kept getting kicked out of my character almost like when you pause, but this could have been one of my base stations acting up. Both of these problems are minor. But the one thing I really had a bad time with, and I've heard others complain about it, is that the loading screens are god awful too long. Like, I had some loading screens where I was sitting there for three to five minutes. It became every single time it had a loading screen, I pulled my chair up and just sat down. And that loads runs forever. And remind you, these loading screens happen every time you enter and exit a level. But after the campaign, you're left with five game modes: arena, tack trial, experimental, sandbox, and mods. And this is where I feel that Bone Lab is going to become the game that it was hyped up to be. This is where most would say that paying $40 for more of a tool than a game is absurd. And I felt like this too, but then I gave it more and more thought, and I started talking to friends and family, then I started looking towards the future rather than the present. Before I get into this, I want to shout out my gram for this perfect analogy when I was talking to her about it. And yeah, I do talk to my grandmother about my video ideas, so what? But anyway, I see Bone Lab as a small shack 
full of tools and it's up to us the community to decide to take those tools and make a town where everyone can thrive and enjoy what we've built or let that small shack with so much potential go to waste and how i see it bone lab could be almost a vr equivalent to a game like gmod where there's still thousands of people playing every day after almost 10 years because after all, Boneworks biggest appeal was its mods, even though at first Stress Level Zero didn't even want mods in their game, and now they're making a game that has built in mod support. And that's why don't be surprised in the upcoming weeks and months, you may see a couple of mossy mods come into Bone Lab. But before I wrap this up, I do want to say I don't think this game is perfect. And did it live up to its hype? To put it plainly, I don't think it did with what we got. And I do think I was lucky I did not experience a lot of the problems I see others did. But what I heard from others and my own quarrels that didn't make it into the video, I think Bone Lab has some improvement to do. But the facts are, I really did enjoy playing this game so much in fact that Bone Lab is now my new favorite game. And that's why I wanted to make this video. Even though the community is in such a big divide about it, I feel like going forward with the game's modding capabilities, it's still going to have me putting on my headset to see where it goes. But this is how I feel, and you're entitled to your own opinion. Opinion. So if you disagree or agree, feel free to comment below because I know there's probably still people feeling iffy about the $40 price tag with what we got. But anyway, if you're planning to join or already in the Bone Lab community, I have one question for you. Are you excited to see where Bone Lab can go? But if you are or if you aren't, this was Mossy and I hope you have a better than great day today.